Hello, everyone. First off, Canada escaped a technical recession. So our real GDP did fall by 0.3% in the third quarter. A revision in the second quarter, though, for our numbers that were originally negative, the revision changed it to a positive growth of 0.3%. This basically prevented two consecutive quarters of decline, which is technically the standard definition of a recession. It's not all good news, though. The economy is essentially in a stagnant state. BMO chief economist Douglas Porter pointed out that despite avoiding a recession, the economy is barely growing. It is a critical insight, especially for those of us in the mortgage and real estate industries, as it impacts housing investments and overall economic confidence. Speaking of housing investments, there is a silver lining. After five quarters of decline, we saw an 8% increase in housing investment in the third quarter. This is a positive sign for our sector, indicating that there's some resilience in the face of broader economic challenges. Now, on the government front, increased spending played a significant role in cushioning the economy. Without a 7.3% jump in the government expenditure, the GDP decline would have been much more significant. Now, international trade scenario was less encouraging, with a notable decrease in exports, especially in the refined petroleum and energy products. This decline exports and exports, coupled with a decrease in imports, reflects a global economic challenge. For the Bank of Canada, the data suggests that they might hold off any further rate hikes. So we've got a rate announcement on December 6th with potential rate cuts not really expected until maybe as early as April 2024. There's still some that's predicting second half of 2024. That's when we're realistically will see some rate cuts. This is obviously crucial for us in the mortgage industry and real estate industry as it influences lending rates and market dynamics. Finally, the weak growth is likely to continue, which could help in gradual bringing inflation closer to the central bank's target, which is 2%. This is a key factor as we watch it influence other consumer spending and housing market trends. While Canada has avoided recession for now, it remains challenging with slow growth. It is basically essentially essential for us to stay informed. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or something that you wanted to discuss relating to mortgages, don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. My telephone number is 416-705-3239. Have a great day.